All right, so uh, today's video is definitely an interesting one. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into this. So today's story time all takes place when I was 17 years old. I was actually not in high school at this point. I was pursuing YouTube full time and kind of a little bit of a recluse. I feel like at this point in my life, um, when I was 17, for a couple of months at least, I was very much like reclusive, didn't really hang out with a lot of people, was just staying inside, grinding videos, that kind of stuff. And uh, it was working pretty well for me and I was enjoying myself. But um, something happened while I was in this period of my life, and I want to talk to you about it. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day when I was 17 years old. I was sitting in my room, working on a video, as I usually do with most of these stories. And uh, I'm on my computer, working on this vid. I was editing some audio um, and just getting a video ready for YouTube, right? Now, at this point, I actually still lived with my mom because I wasn't 18 yet and I couldn't move out. So I was in my room at my mom's house, nobody was home, all my siblings were out, my mom was at work, and uh, I'm just alone at my house editing this video, and all of a sudden, to the left of me, I see car headlights pulling into my driveway. Now upon seeing this, I get a little bit nervous, right? Because I'm home alone, I didn't have anyone coming over, so I didn't expect people to pull into my driveway. So I look out the window, and it's a big SUV, and I see in the driver's seat an older guy, probably looks like 40, maybe 50 years old, and he's alone, no one else is in the car, and he opens up his door, and he gets out, and then he opens up his back door, and he proceeds to grab a metal pipe, like a giant, rusty metal pipe. Now, I had two thoughts cross my mind when I saw this. Number one, the most practical and logical one, was probably, okay, he's probably just going to use the garbage container outside of my house, because where I live, and I'm sure where most of you live, we have these garbage bins where you throw all your trash from your garbage cans into, and you have like a recycling bin, and at the end of the week, you bring them to the end of the street, and then the garbage people take them, and, uh, you know, you repeat. And I thought this guy was just going to throw away this metal pipe into my garbage can, because I've done that before, not with a metal pipe, but sometimes when I'm on the road, and I have a drink that I finish, and there's a big blue garbage bin at the end of someone's driveway, I'll just toss my drink in there. It's probably not the most polite thing to do without asking, but, like, it's garbage. It all goes to the same place, so I didn't think it was a problem. So that's what I thought this guy was doing, right? I'm like, okay, he's just using my garbage to throw away this big pipe thing. But then he walks up to my porch and proceeds to start smacking my door with the pipe. To which I start having like a mini heart attack. I'm like, holy shit, this guy is angry and he's beating my door with a metal rusty pipe. And then he starts screaming. He's like, get the hell out of here right now. I know you're in there. I didn't even know what to think. I'm like, okay, this guy is either here to one, uh, beat me up or two, uh, this is all a prank, right? Like, I didn't even know. But I wasn't taking any chances, so I open up my phone and I dial 911. And they're like, 911, what's your emergency? I'm like, uh, yeah, there's a guy here who I don't know who's beating my front door with a metal pipe trying to open it. And he's yelling that he knows I'm in here and that I should come out right now. And I assume he wants to hurt me. And the woman over the phone's like, okay, and you're sure you don't know this guy at all? I was like, nope, not at all. They go, okay, we have officers on the way, hang tight, do not open the door, and do not go in near any windows where he can see you. I'm like, okay. So I'm like sitting there, just in a corner of my room, freaking out, having a panic attack, and I can hear the sirens coming. They sound like they're maybe a couple streets over, like about to be there. But then I hear yelling out in the front yard, and it sounds like a woman's voice. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's my mom. So I open up the blinds of my window, and I look out the window again, and I can see my mom and this guy yelling at each other. Like, I didn't even realize what time it was. My mom had just gotten home from work. And she's like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Like, my son's in there. Who do you think you are coming to my property, damaging it with that pipe? Like, you better fucking stop. And he's like, your son hurt my son. And I'm like, wait, what? So I opened the window and I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, who are you? And I was like, I'm her son. He goes, no, you're not. I was like, yes, I am. Who, who are you? He's like, where's Jacob? I'm like, who the hell is Jacob? And he looks at me and he looks at my mom all confused and he goes, Wait, what's the address here? And I give him the house number and the street. And he's like, oh, the house I'm looking for is a couple more down. I'm like, you didn't think to check the house number before you started beating my house up with a pipe? And then my mom chimes in. She's like, yeah, what the fuck's wrong with you? And he goes, I'm so sorry. There's a boy at my son's school who beat him up with three other boys today. They jumped him and they caught him from behind and sucker punched him. And he's only 15 years old. And the main boy that did it lives on this street. And as much as I felt horrible for his son, going to the bully's house with a weapon is uh, not the answer. Not at all. No. I don't know what he planned on doing with that pipe. Hopefully it was all for show and he was just doing it to try and, you know, scare one of the boys. Because it sure as hell worked on me. 
But like, even then, that's really messed up. Now luckily the cops pulled up a couple of seconds later, and they actually ended up arresting this guy, because he was clearly a danger to the community. Like, he was literally hitting our house with a pipe, trying to break in, and then he admitted that he was at the wrong house. Definitely meaning that he was going to go to the right one and do it to them as well. So, yeah, the cops arrested him because they didn't want that to happen to anybody else and watch anyone get hurt with that pipe. So they arrested him, confiscated the weapon. They talked to us for a little bit as well. We gave them our side of the story. And the guy went to jail. Now, let me tell you, the whole rest of that day, like making the video and hanging out at my house the rest of that night was so scary. I was like so on edge. I kept looking out my window thinking he was going to come back for some reason and like try and hurt me because he got arrested. Like I really was worried. But he didn't because he was in jail and he couldn't. So that's good, I guess. And guess what? A couple days later, I was out taking my trash out. And uh, the neighbor, two houses down, the one that was originally supposed to be the house he was at, she sees me, the mom, and she goes, hey, come here real quick, Austin. So I run over there. I was like, what's up? And she goes, how you holding up? Like, I heard about what happened the other day and the police talked to me and like, that guy was crazy, right? I was like, yeah, pretty crazy. She goes, yeah, like my son, uh, you know, he was messing with some kid at school and he was here for revenge. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty messed up to show up to someone's house with a weapon. It was pretty scary. And she's like, yeah, I'm so sorry that happened to you guys. Like, if you need anything, let me know. I was like, thank you. I appreciate it. And she's like, yeah, it's been a real rough couple of days here. Like my son was bullying some student and I had to discipline him for that and, you know, ground him. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm sure he knows now not to do that anymore, especially after all the crazy stuff that's happened. And she's like, yeah, definitely. And after that, I just went back to my house and I never heard from that guy again. He never came back to our house, never came back to our street. So that's good. Believe it or not, he was actually not in jail for a very long time. He ended up bailing himself out like just a few days later. And uh, I think his sentencing ended up with him on like probation or something. Like he wasn't in jail for long at all. But I'm assuming he learned his lesson because he never came back and I never heard anything about him again. So yeah, guys, moral of this story is... Don't show up to people's houses and beat their doors with weapons. That is not okay. Violence is definitely not the answer. And uh, yeah, that's that. Don't be like that guy because you'll end up in jail like he did. But yeah, I just thought the story time was crazy. It was like one of the most crazy misunderstandings I've ever seen. And I'm glad it ended the way it did because it could have ended way differently with people getting hurt and stuff. So I'm glad it ended the way it did. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later. Peace.